Hi, welcome to Phil Stack Help. Today I'm going to be showing you on how to copy the music that's on your iPod to your iTunes library, even if the iTunes library is not synced with your iPod. Now you will need to have an iPod Classic, an iPod Nano. It does not work with the iPod Touch or iPhone, unfortunately, or the iPad. No iOS devices, just regular iPods. So, first off, what you need to do is you need to enable disk use. And then select apply. Now it will start to sync, and then now it has enabled disk use. Now, open up Finder and find your iPod. So here we have the standard contacts, calendars, notes, and photos. But now we want to copy the music. The music is a hidden file, so what we have to do is open up any application that allows you to save files and just simply hit File, Save. So now we have this browser available, and all we have to do is select the iPod and select shift command period and now all the hidden files just appeared on the iPod so we can scoot this all we have to do is go to iPod control and then here we have this folder called music and here are all the subfolders with the music in it so now one by one drag the folders anywhere on your computer. Unfortunately, the save dialog does not allow you to select multiple items, so you can't select every one of the folders inside. Might take a while, but it's worth it. So I'm just going to copy the first four folders. Don't close the dialog yet because that will hide all of the hidden files. Now just simply open the folders up select the files that are in it, and drag them to your desktop. And now it will actually copy the files from your desktop. Now you might notice that they're named really weirdly, but you can just drag them into iTunes, and if they're purchased from iTunes or you have to name them, then they will get then they will change their name to the last name that they were titled at. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to subscribe, watch my other videos, and comment and like. Thanks for watching!